Well, shalom, ladies and gentlemen. A little later in the day, same theme, same uh, topic. Uh, I wonder, I think the great president did a nice thing, offered something out um, prior to the peace deal that he's planning to roll out uh, pretty soon here. Uh, and I just look at this thing as, is it a pure motive, or did he put that out there? So a couple of weeks early, people pounce on that, and then he comes up with this rollout plan. I think it says, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Um, the Lord's name is not Donald John, John Trump. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this thing spins itself out. I'm, I, for one, am certainly looking forward to seeing how it, how this uh, peace plan destined. What is this purpose of this? Uh, you know, it takes one part of the negotiations. I was concerned about it. I thought they might have uh, asked for that concession uh, as part of their uh, great peace deal. I, you know, that thought had crossed my mind, that they might ask for that land to be surrendered back to Syria uh, as part of this, uh, you know, big sweep for peace. But, no, they didn't do that, okay? They took it off the table. And I think what we're going to actually see is other parts of the Palestinian hope and dream fantasy, whatever they call it, okay, for the greater Palestine, it's just going to evaporate chunk by chunk. And, uh, you know, uh, I think Bill Clinton warned Yasser Arafat about that. He said, you know, uh, your options for um, what you're looking for are becoming limited. And, you know, his recalcitrance uh, kind of entrenched the people in a path that's not resulted in any benefits to them. Um, now, it's funny all the crying hue and, and screaming about the Palestinians. And why don't the neighboring Arab nations take them in as refugees? Why is it they have to apply to the United States and the UK for refugee status? Uh, the Syrians. Okay, all that tragedy there, that's all whatever, Muslim ideology, slaughter techniques. And uh, where are the other countries that are willing to take them in, the refugees, hello, hello, all the other nations. People guilt beat the United States and the UK and the other countries that do take them in. Uh, it's not doing enough. But what are these own, their own neighbors doing? What's Jordan do for any of them? Good old Jordan. They got a king. What about Saudi Arabia? They got a king. Come on, King, Sai, you know, whatever. Saudi Arabia guy. Let, you know, let your people go home. Let your people go home. Okay, you probably kicked them out. Listen, you kicked the Israelis out. So they went to Israel. They went home. Okay, so product of displacement. And now these other folks, whatever they are, need to repopulate in your lands. And, uh, you know, this is inflammatory or whatever. Uh, I'm sure there are thought censors out there that don't want me to allow or express my free thinking. Uh, you know, shame on you if you if you make this video go away uh, four minutes into it. Uh, you know, I hope the pr word propagates. Uh, you know, I really do. Um, before the scythe, the censorship comes through and... Um, takes off yet one more speaking voice. Uh, I think we'd recognize John the baptizer as back from the dead if he had his, uh, you know, his neck scar. That's morbid, but here we go. Um, thanks for watching.